Dr. Campbell did first attempt to bring up supposed false facts uh, pertaining to the Quranic views on the universe, and you did refute these accusations. However, it was not addressed what the Bible says about the shape of the earth and its other aspects. The sister asked the question that I did not address regarding what the Bible says about the shape of the earth. Lack of time, I can point out another hundred points, lack of time. Anyhow, the sister wants to know what does the Bible speak about the shape of the earth. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number four, verse number eight. It says the same reference which Dr. William Campbell used about tempting. The devil took him, that Jesus Christ peace be upon him, to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the earth and its glory. Gospel of Luke, chapter number four, verse number five. The devil took him to a high mountain and showed him the glory of all the kingdoms of the world. Now, even if you go to the tallest mountain, the highest mountain in the world, that's Mount Everest, and supposingly you have a very good vision and can see for thousands of miles together, yet you will not be able to see all the kingdoms of the world because today we know the earth is spherical. You will not be able to see the kingdom of the opposite side of the world. The only way we will see if the earth was flat. That's the description, what the Bible gives. The earth is flat. Furthermore, the same description is repeated in the book of Daniel, chapter number 4, verse number 10 and 11. It says in the dream that the tree grew up into the heaven. And there when the tree grew up into the heaven, it grew up so much that everyone from all the ends of the earth, they could see the tree. This is only possible if the shape of the earth was flat. If a tree is very long, and the shape of the earth was flat, it's possible. Today, it's a universal fact that the world is spherical. You will never be able to see the tree, however much long it is, from the opposite side of the spherical shape of the earth. Furthermore, if you read, it's mentioned in the first Chronicles, chapter number 16, verse number 30, that the earth does not move. The same is repeated in the book of Psalms, chapter number 93, verse number one, that almighty God, he has stabilized the earth. That means the earth does not move. And in the New International Version, it says that God has established and stopped the movement of the earth as though... One minute. The earth is... One minute left or one minute? One minute left. <laughs> I thought you asked me to wait for one minute. No. Regarding Dr. William Campbell, he said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon said in the Bible in several places that he was God. You can refer to my video cassette, Concept of God in Major Religion, which gives all the references and the answers. I'll only give you the references of what he quoted. I and my father of one is from John, chapter number 10, verse number 30. And in the beginning was the word, is from John, chapter number 1, verse number 1. You go to the context and you'll come to know Jesus Christ, peace be upon never claimed divinity. You can take my cassette, which is available in the foyer outside, Concept of God in Major Religion, and similarities between Islam and Christianity, which give the details that Jesus Christ, peace be upon never claimed divinity. Time, thank you.